Will Thornu survive? I got $150 left to raise before tomorrow morning. What is messing with our magnetic field? Will we soon find ourselves back in the Stone Age again? Within two human lifetimes, Earth's magnetic field has become weaker significantly, and the magnetic North Pole has tilted 2,000 kilometers off the Earth's polar axis. In fact, a full pole reversal is possible. It happened last 780,000 years ago, at the very beginning of human history. But cavemen didn't have satellites, mobile phone networks, GPS navigation, or power supplies. What is messing with our magnetic field? Is it planet X? Is it a natural process caused by the alignment and orbit of the planets? Is it something happening within the sun? Or is it the fact that we've extracted over a quadrillion square feet of petroleum from inside of our planet, and that is one of the forces that regulates how our poles work? We don't know a whole lot about the inner core, man. The deepest we've ever been is 12 miles down. How much could we know? Stay cool. I need your love. This is a Thor News presentation. Hit the button, baby. And here we go. Thor News presents. And so yeah, the sun has a magnetic field. The earth has a magnetic field. You have a magnetic field that emanates from your heart. You see, the earth's weather and atmosphere is a very complicated dynamic process. And everybody's been talking about the magnetic north pole has moved. Here's what you need to know. We're over at Forbes right now. What is happening? By Kevin Anderson. I've been seeing some headlines pointing out that Earth's magnetic field is acting up and that the scientists don't understand why. So I thought I would take time to clear up the issue. Thanks, Kevin. Forbes is science. Earth's magnetic pole is moving in the direction of Siberia and away from Canada. There's something that scientists have been tracking for a long time. It's fairly easy to look up the location of the magnetic pole dating back to the early 1900s. But the recent changes of the drifting pole are raising some concerns, but the direction is not the problem. In fact, the direction of the drifting pole has been roughly the same for as long as scientists have been tracking it. It's the speed that's the issue. That's what she said, because she was a police officer, and you were speeding. Every five years, scientists recalculate the location of the magnetic pole. Good for them. This is important information for global navigation, which includes GPS satellites and other technology. These changes can make a big difference in our everyday lives. Oh, hell yeah. Scientists at NOAA and the British Geological Survey check how accurate the World Magnetic Pole model is every year. And when they did their check this year, they noticed some very large differences. Oh, no. Doom? Question mark. Asterisk. Primarily that the pole's movement had sped up the location data for the North Pole that was supposed to last until 2020 before it needed to be updated. But according to experts at the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, it needs to be updated now, now, now. And so, yeah, so like here's your planet, man. But let's say your North Pole is here. And so if your North Pole moves to here, clearly all the weather and the climate are going to move with it and the jet stream. So our fast moving North Pole might be one of the reasons, multiple reasons, that our climate has been acting so weird. Odd, strange, peculiar. The records are breaking all over in the old places. Because the earth, she is a changing. The tilt, she, it is a changing. The sun, it is a changing. And you know, a lot of people really like to think they have it all figured out, but I'm pretty sure it's a bunch of different things, man. There's so many things happening right now. There's so many variables going on. That's your jet stream. Looks pretty crazy, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Suspicious Observers on the YouTubes has done some excellent work on this subject. I highly recommend you taking a look at it, checking it out. He's way more sciencey than I am. Now we're at Live Science. Earth's magnetic pole is wandering, lurching towards Siberia. Ooh, that sounds dangerous. So dangerous. Earth's north magnetic pole is on the move, unpredictably lurching away from the Canadian Arctic and towards Siberia. It's wandered so much that the current representation of the entire globe's magnetic field, just updated in 2015, is now out of date. And so geologists might have to come up with a new model. The updated model called the World Magnetic Model was supposed to be published January 15th, but it's now delayed to January 30th on account of the government shutdown. Okay, great. Once it's made public, the new model will inform a wide array of navigation, including those directing airplanes and ships to people checking Google Maps on their smart devices. You know, buddy, they're really not that smart. I just call them phones. The World Magnetic Model is one of a handful of models. Another is called the International Geomagnetic Reference Field that track so-called declination, or the difference between true north and geographic north and north north, that is the North Pole and the magnetic north point where your compass needle points. Doing that declination for points across the globe allows one to convert between a magnetic bearing and a true bearing, huh. according to a report on the 2015 model. In that way, ships, aircraft, and antennas, drilling equipment, and other devices can be oriented. The latest world magnetic model was designed to last until 2020, but the magnetic north's rapid and unexpected surge towards Siberia was so great the researchers had to amend the model early. 
Okay. News of the Magnetic North's meanderings isn't exactly new. Yeah, it's moving. It's always been moving. Now it's just moving faster. Core message. The North Pole's erratic movements are largely the result of Earth's liquid iron outer core. The liquid layers deep in Earth's interior generate a charge similar to a power generator that produces electricity. Like we're guessing. We've never seen it. I guess it's kind of crystally. No one has ever seen the core field before, but you can imagine it's like this. Nah, I don't want to. I was hoping this story would be sexier. Then I was disappointed. So yeah, a bunch of weird shit going on. Thank you for paying attention to this exciting and important episode of Thor News. This will become a regular series as we discuss our magnetic field and our North and South Poles and the dance they are doing. Thank you for being an integral member of Asteroid Fight Club, for being amazing, and for being awesome. And if you can, contribute to help save Thor News by either a contribution to my PayPal link or by saying a prayer. I would greatly appreciate it. You guys are amazing, and I love you. Stay cool. But the oil and war economy sure doesn't want to change. They are angry. They don't want you guys to know some information. What it is, I don't know. If you get lost, you can use a compass and navigate back home. Quite easy today, but will it also work tomorrow? Unless vicinity of the pole has provoked some magnetic joke. No news is coming at me, and he's gonna science and shit. If it's happening in a galaxy, then Thor is all over it. Hurricane, solar flares, planet X, how humanity's gonna destroy itself at each other's necks. Yeah, I don't know if you know this. Thor News survive? I got $150 left to raise before tomorrow morning.